All right. We're here with my good friend, Joe James, and we are recording his second accountability challenge. This is for the Sacred Inclusion Network, and we're here to help my guy follow his dreams, live his dreams, walk the path. And um, so this is video number two. And in the last one, you committed to four things that you wanted to do. And we said that if you stay consistent with these four things, it'd be a nice stepping stone to, you know, or creating the foundation for you to pursue your dreams further, right? And so the first thing we said was that you would receive your CPA for accounting by April. Number two, we said that you'd spend two hours a day, Monday through Friday, studying for the CPA. Number three is you would spend a half hour practicing music every day. And number four, we said that on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you would get a little workout in the morning. So my first question for you is, have you been able to stay committed to these four things? Um, some of them. Working out, that was consistent. Uh, like, uh, it wasn't necessarily Monday through Friday, but like, I always made sure it was like, uh, like, uh, if I had missed one day, I, I would just have at least three workouts, if not four workouts a week. And, um, and then like some things I kind of, I don't include as a workout, but you know, it's technically still a workout. Like I bike to work every time I go to work. Mm, so that's like that's a, a workout. Yeah, so you got to like there and back and especially going through the cold, like you lose a lot of heat. And uh, yeah, so um, then the guitar, um, I have been playing it for enjoyment. There has been like new things I've found, um, but they kind of fall by the wayside with the actual practicing part, you know, because playing for enjoyment. And but then like, I mean, it is enjoyable to learn new things, but uh, Sometimes it's more fun just to, you know, just to play, you know, for the fun yeah, of it, well, you know, which has its merits, but, you know, it's also you want to develop too. So that sort of fell by the wayside a little play because, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, and um, we're studying for the last, you know, about two weeks, I kind of fell by the wayside, like, you know, uh, after, you know, I had like a lot of stuff with work and with my family. So, you know, it was like the hardest thing to do. But, you know, it's, it's, I was thinking like, you, so I have to like self, I have to like first maintain like self preservation a little bit. Like, uh, and some of the stuff that was being asked to me, like, you know, even at work too, like, you know, on like a different project and trying to, you know, we're starting at a later date. You know, and there were some things that were supposed to be done all year that they pulled me on this project. I'm like, why did why they put me on this project? Mm -hmm. I was good where I was. They put me on this new project with like test and revenue. And like, it's been some of this, the people that were supposed to be doing things for like a whole entire year, like just going, collecting samples and um, recording uh, financial information. They didn't do that all year and now they're trying to figure out ways to you know you know i'm trying to figure out ways to you know do it without and uh so right now i haven't put in overtime yet but it's going to be coming up you know soon because uh yeah i don't know like i came up with ways i came up with ways to like maybe pull like sample information that's really the problem we have to have like solid samples and uh, I came up with like ways to pull it, you know, cause I work for the city too. And like a lot of times when they give you information, it's not usually in the way that you want it to be or would prefer. So, you know, if they, you know, have, if you, if they're like uh, having, um, you know, financial statements like coming in every month or like, uh, you know, uh, as far as like, uh, account balances, how all those things are pulled in, you know, to their financial statements. That's what really what we look at. Sometimes they'll just print it out or something. And, you know, you're looking at it and you're doing it multiple times a month, like maybe mm -hmm. 20 times or a month or, and now you have to pull all that information. It's not coming in on a spreadsheet because they only can capture it at the one time. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. 
you know, but I, I came up with a method for uh, extracting it from like a hard PDF file. Like, um, and there is software that does it. And I have like worked other places where they just, um, they use particular software to actually um, manipulate uh, 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 financial information that doesn't come in the way that you would like it to be. Um, but, you know, my manager, they thinking something else that might work. I'm thinking we only have a little bit of time left to finish this audit. And uh, we might as well just do it the hard way. And if you're trying to figure out something innovative, maybe do that next year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like you should have started earlier. Right, right. Okay, yeah. so it seems like a lot of extra work has kind of been thrown upon you, like without you kind of foreseeing that, which I could definitely relate to. Um, the same thing has happened to me, I would say, is why I like wanted to do this, this, and this, had these plans. And all of a sudden, all these other things are coming at me. And I'm then I'm like scrambling to try to figure out how to plan or how, or really for me, it's boundaries. But do you think there's a way that you can like balance this new workload with still, you know, trying to study or still trying to do the things that you want to do? Or is it like, what does that look like? Is that possible even? I can, it's going to be tough. And I mean, it's not the only thing too. Like work is just one thing, uh, but you know, it's really just a matter of um, uh, being efficient because like, you know, everything in the, you know, the world I live in is always about exploiting, you know what I mean? Like, cause that's mm -hmm. the only way people, you know, everything is like, you know, you get the most out of your worker, you know, everybody asking like favors, you know, I uh, hate to use the word exploit, but like, but, you know, everybody needs something. So like, you know, uh, you know, it's tough, like trying to think like, damn, how am I going, you know, fit all of this in, but I have to, like, it's the only way really forward. And, you know, I already paid for these exams. Mm. So I got to be ready to take them, you know, so, um, and with my job too, we do get reimbursed once we take them. So I could use that money too. You know, I could use it back. So um, yeah, so it's um, it's gotta happen. And even only thing that's hard is like certain things will work. It's like hard deadlines because um, a lot of time we have like a lot of um, financial covenants um, that's. Uh, or that required them to have like put out financial statements at a particular time that where okay. the city controller's office will um we validate you know or what reasonably um or we we make sure like their information financial information is like fairly presented like is no, nothing's like 100 percent accurate but we make sure it's fair like it's within reason you know like the whole thing isn't going to collapse in on itself like that's our job and um so with this particular audit, it's not something, you know, other audits, you can like say, look, we ain't get it done this week. We'll have to extend it an extra month. You know, it looks like we bumped into a, we have a roadblock. So we got, you know, you know, um, we have to get this done sooner. Um, so the only thing that could help me right now is we have like enough, a lot of new employees came in. So, you know, some of them are kind of smart. Maybe, maybe they could pick up some of the workload. It depends. We don't know. You know. Okay. So, do you think that you can still achieve the goal you initially set by at, uh, getting your CPA by April? And then once you get that CPA, that's when the fun really begins. That we talked about is that's when you maybe try to take that step, that deeper step towards being a professional musician. So, do you think right. that's possible? I think I would have to extend it to May. A little extension? And, right. Because, like, even even if I, because if I, it's four parts to the exam. And if I get, if I get, um, uh, if I can get financial done maybe by like the middle of January, after our audit's done, there is like a, like a, us, they give you a little bit of time to like recuperate a little because they know like a lot of people put on weight 
<laughs> you know, a lot of people were stressing and, you know, I started realizing like uh, my brother, he was like, he had, had some heart issues like recently too. And it kind of made me sort of step back like, yeah, this, this stuff is real. Like, um, you know, he was, cause he, and he's somebody that, you know, he works pretty hard. Um, you know, there's a few, I have a few siblings that kind of will hold their own. <laughs> My brother, you know, who's the one who kind of you know, holds his own. My old, he's an older brother. He, uh, you know, he he's the type of person. He does like plumbing and stuff, and he put in all these hours, you know, doing plumbing. And then, you know, he had all these like, you know, he put on a lot of weight, you know, behind it, and then put on like, then he had now he's having like heart problems, and mm. it kind of made me sort of wake up a little bit too, like you know. Where you know he had um what was it called like myocarditis, mm. whereas you know um now you had to like have his like heart on like a some kind of like defibrillator or something just in case. Oof. Yeah, so it's like you know it's serious. Like when you when you try, you only can push yourself so much. So I started thinking like you know, I probably need to just chill out for a second. Just you know, was I you know what the thing is too? I remember when I was working another job, I don't know, if, I probably told you this at one time, but like it was, I did this audit, I was doing like um this, what was it, count, doing inventory. It was somewhere up near, um, uh, it's like out in the middle of Pennsylvania, like, um, where is it? Uh, don't even matter. You know they the the show the office, the show office oh, was, uh, Scranton, was Scranton. Scranton. Yeah, it was close. It was like a, you know, a 50 miles away or like 30 miles from there or something like okay. that. But it was like this big inventory. I was supposed to, I was just, I was the one person that came up there to do it. And I remember it was a lot of shit that going wrong. And like, you can't really call nobody in out there because it's like your phones, nothing works out there. Right. And, um, you know, they don't have as many cell towers. And I, on the way home, it, it was like everything that could go wrong, went wrong. You have to count in freezers. You have to do the count. And I remember I came home or I was driving. When I finally got back, my heart was just like pacing through my chest because it was like mm. everything that could go wrong. You know, I don't want to like take too much away from like what we're talking about now, but it do it did kind of make me realize like you're not invincible. You know, you got to take care of yourself. Yes, yeah, it's, it's um, a valid point. And so talking to you, it sounds like you haven't had much like time for yourself. Like it seems like you've just been working family you have been working out you have been doing music and, it, and it's probably good that maybe you're just like practicing a little bit or not practicing just playing around a little bit more and less practicing but have you had like any time to like relax or have you just been on go 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 that's the thing like uh the time that the, the time that uh that I should be doing you know, like doing the study I was like I need to relax I need to like unwind. I just need to chill because, you know, it's just too much, you know. So I, you know, I did like take the time to, you know, chill out a little bit, but it is kind of always going. Like every time, everything that everybody say to me sometimes isn't like, uh, like my mom, she'll be calling me all the time, like, oh, I need this, I need that, you know. So I try to, I'm like working with their, you know, finances and stuff. So, I kind of had to come up with different methods for making sure, you know, we track cost and like how much is being spent without having to always be around. So I kind of, um, I created like different accounts, you know, for um, one account for my mom, like uh, my dad, he's like, you know, he's away right now. He's in, doing rehab things. So I had to like, he's, but he still needs like money and stuff. And but he's mm -hmm. not going to be back for until sometime in June. So this that's the way they just it's an extended like you know, honestly I think that's the only way to quit something is to be away for a long ass time. But uh yeah, I just had to, I came up with like you know different solutions for you know just opened up another account, um, put the uh, gave her a card so I could track and see like how how the money is like being spent so that you know bills can be paid and you know and I'm you know, make sure but there's a lot of different things you start looking and be like. Damn, they ain't paid no, they ain't paid the water bill for a year. I didn't even know they let that happen that long or something like that. So, mm. but I mean, right now it is the best situation, like as far as 
um, their concern, but making sure everything gets in order, like, because I still got, there's other things I want to do to make sure it's set up right. Like, um, maybe like attach, like have everybody that makes a request, like, because a lot of times, like other siblings might do something and it'll come out of their pocket. You know, I have to like sort of reimburse them. So I'm thinking like, maybe if I do it all through like a, um, a Google doc, like, you know, so we track like who requested what, and it's not like too haphazard because a lot of this is like emergencies, like, hey, mom needs says you need this, or you know, this have some other thing has to be done. So right. I'd rather like just be able Oof. to track it, you know. But the first thing I did was just like, or I just kind of gave her an extra card just to make sure because they will spend money. That's the thing. They they spend money and they don't think because when they spend money, they'll they'll spend the money like like, oh, I mean we have this much money coming in, and this is based on how much money is coming in, that's what they're thinking about. Like, you know, they're not thinking about, you know, uh, you know, how much is available to actually spend, like after you pay off all of your debts. Like that's really what you're right. thinking about. But they just think like, oh, this much money came in. And then like being ready for, prepared for, you know, different scenarios and like, you know, but yeah. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like you got a lot on your shoulders right now. You're, you're balancing, right. juggling a lot. And I can definitely relate to that. Um, I think you, we need to think, or you need to think about how you can kind of maybe balance that, or maybe some things need to fall to the wayside for some extent, because it seems like you just can't be operating at this level forever. Like at some right. point, something's going to give one way or another. And maybe you need to figure out how you can, how it can give in a more healthy way. So that's something to think about. And also, is there a deadline for your CPA? Like, do you have um, to do it by a certain time? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the hardest deadline would be um, the seat. Like, it, you only get like a testing window, like when you order it. So I'll okay. order mine and... Um, I think maybe was it October. So the, the hardest deadline is like you get six months to take them. So I order two different ones. So you have to take those in six months. So, oh, so like, that's coming up. Right, right. So it, it has to be done. The two of them have to be done. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Obviously, too, I'm planning on taking two more within like six months. So mm. I'm I'm not as worried about the hard deadline necessarily versus, I mean, cause the plan is to take four. I should be able to at least take, you know, two, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. and it's not like I didn't get nothing done, you know what I mean? As far as studying, you know, I still got, you do want, it is the thing with the CPA, it is kind of like, you want to have everything in your head in like a window of time. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just about um, what you, kind of know it's like you have to know everything pretty well within like a, a short period of time like within like you know there might be a, a two-week window where you know everything and then right. after the two-week window is over you might start slowly as you get away from that two-week window you start to forget like I mean you still can go back to it and relearn it but you know like uh because with the CPA exam it's not really about um like it's not about necessarily about um, the depth of everything. It's about um, the breadth. Of, is that the right word? Like how much? The, like you know, how saying. many yeah. different subjects you have to be very knowledgeable about a lot of different subjects. Right. You know, um, not like you know, because you know, I, I mean, even like when you go into a field, there's so much more that they could never even teach you in a book. You know, right. every different field, like, you know, somebody says, oh, I'm a forensic accountant, I'm this kind of accountant, I'm a tax accountant. There's so many different things, you know, to, I mean, they're going to change the exam, too, in the future where you have to specialize in something. So that's another deadline, too, for next year. Okay, so, so, my way, for interrupted, when, when are you planning on taking this? Like, in May? Um, January. What, the first one in January. Okay, so it's it's by phases. So January and then another one later. Okay, so I think the next challenge is you got about a month to right. figure figure out how 
you can maybe balance your life so that you can feel comfortable like handling handling your business, but at the same time have space, time, and like mental energy so that you can actually like give to this test. Cause you don't want to be at the point where the test is is coming up and you feel like, damn, I haven't been able to give any of my time because I've been working, I've been giving all my time to my family. I've been doing like so we gotta come up with a with a with a with a plan. And um maybe that's the that's the next challenge. Um we can talk. Or is there anything that like you know just comes to you right now and then we can wrap up and we can think about it more as we go forth? Well, I mean, one good thing is some of the things, like some of the challenges are things that I'm mean, we're talking about in terms of like this past tense. You know what I mean? Like uh getting like organizing uh, some of the finances and stuff. That was something I had to like, I just got finished dealing with. And I, I think I could like make it even better. So after I improve it, you know, I could almost get it to the point where I'm not the one that has to really manage it. Mm. And you know what I mean? Where everybody know, like, I could just say like, look, these are the rules, right? And I would just, I want it to be where everybody in my whole family, they can look go online, they can look at exactly everything that was spent, like, cause there's different projects that they need to do. We gotta fix certain things in the house too. And everybody can see, so we're all on the same page. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, so in that way too, like if something were to you know happen to me or something, it would be really a, a seamless transition, you know, where somebody else could just take over because they know everybody knows everything that's going on. I don't like to do no no secrets because my parents they love secrets. They love like and but I don't like I started saying like no 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 we're not doing no more secrets no more because they'll say don't tell this person that and I'm right. like so I just want to make sure like everything's out in the open everything's on the table and um yeah and everybody knows what's what and then yeah no so you think that'll clear up more space right it definitely to... will it definitely will Okay, so how do you feel? How do you feel like about a month or a month or two going into the the test in January? How do you feel about your time to study and then to taking the test? It's 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 a little. I ain't gonna lie, it's tough. Like I do feel a little bit anxious in terms of you know, when we, especially when I'm doing doing a new audit area. Like I'm still like figuring things out, and it's like it's like you're studying. Like when you're doing a new audit area and you're looking at other people's work from a prior period, you're studying basically. You're studying like, you know, to get something done. And so now it's like a new subject on top of this other subject. But this subject that you're studying isn't really, um, it's not really, it's not like it's like a, it's not like you know the solutions to the exam. Like you can go back to the solution page and like, oh, that's how you do it. It's like, uh, you know, it's real life. You know, you gotta make sure you you get that particular problem right. Okay, so is there anything you can do that can that may help remove that anxiousness, or are you just like, I gotta just go, 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 and just do my best? The <laughs> only thing I can think of is like, I mean, maybe like my job is just gonna have to take a a second, like it's gonna have to take a back seat a little bit. Like I hate to say it like that, but. Like I'm gonna do my best, but you know, they kind of are put me in a bad situation. Like you know, because I mean, we had we had a lot of new people coming on, but you know, honestly, my soup like the people that's my managers and stuff, they don't even really understand it. Like I'm I'm sitting there telling them what needs to be done, mm. and I was supposed to actually like supervise like this period. But I was thinking like, yo, if I start doing that, then I'm gonna be, then I'm gonna be required to know everything, and you know that means that you gotta be ahead of it. But now I'm like, I'm on this audit and I'm doing the damn the same damn things. Anyway, like I right. literally thought that I was doing something by like not taking a bag quick, and which like it is a little bit a different type of stress, but you know because everything falls on your shoulders and everybody expects you to know everything. And, you know, and, and people are, I don't know, people are weird sometimes. Like, I feel like um, 
once you get toward closer towards like management levels, um, everybody people don't ask as many the right questions all the time because like they don't they're not allowed to be as mm, they don't want you to know that they don't know right yeah so I mean there's that but like I I, I feel like you know, some of the things that I brought up, you know, it seems kind of obvious to me, like, you know, this needs to be done now, like, because, you know, there's certain requests, you know, I have, like, emails, of, like, all right, first of all, send this request out, and I have to, you know, I have to go into the office, and, like, it's going to take certain time, like, once you send out requests for a sample, especially this time of year, around the holidays, people uh, in other offices and other departments, they're going on break, they're doing this and that, and, uh, yeah, there's no time to just, it's no, like, it, it is a little, a little bit of anxiousness, like, as far as, right. you know, it's got to get done. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's close with the fact that, you know, remember that you want to move away from this accounting right. stress, and you want to be a musician, so if you have to, like, take a step back from your work, not even step back, but, like, you got to put yourself first. And it seems right. like the job is throwing you all these things. So you can't just be like, I'm going to do this a thousand percent and this, and I'll do this, this, and this, and then have no you left. Right. Right. So that's just something I want to, I, I want you to think about as far as like, it seems like you're trying to juggle all these different things, make all, and I, I'm in the same position to be honest, like right. s- same, but different. Cause with me, it's not like you, I feel like you're in a more like, I don't know, corporate deadline setting where you feel like, you know, these things have to get done. You work for the city. For me, it's more that this, this, I'm like helping these other people follow their dreams or live oh, yeah. out their dreams. And That's so maybe I'm putting, hard, well, yeah, That's I'm putting hard. stress, I'm putting stress on myself. Cause I'm like, I got to make sure that I'm showing up for them and I also believe in what they're doing. So it's like, for yeah. me, it's like, Oh, both were kind of similar. We're putting all this stress on ourselves, trying to like balance all these things. So this is kind of, we're mirroring each other where, I just want you to, I'm going to let you have the final words of like how you feel about every, your whole situation and how you feel about you moving forward. But I just want you to remember that like, you got to put yourself first in all of this because you don't want to be like burned out like, or like with, you know, with a heart issue because you just were trying to do the most for everybody. And then now you burnt out. So what say you, and then we'll get out of here. All right. So I'll, I'll go, maybe I'll just go down a list of positive things. Okay. One, good. the finances is about to be, you know, I'm feeling pretty okay about it. Like, because that's something that's, and that was something that was taking time because I'll have to like go and like go across because I, you know, yeah, I, I had to like go all the way to my, um, you know, my mom's spot and handle certain things. But now I have it, if I, if it, one, I have it a little bit set up where I don't have to be there and I could like delegate it more easily and monitor it like from a, you know, different location. My two, my sister's about to be done with uh, school for the semester. I hate Drexel, I don't like it as an institution. I don't like any schools, honestly. I don't like, I don't like schools, like I don't get them. But uh, yeah, it's, that's gonna be, you know, finished up. Like, so I have like that window of time and, you know, there are certain other things that I could see on the horizon. That's going to be not going to be the best situation. Like, you know, you know, I have other siblings that are not quite doing right. Um, and, you know, you know, they deal with like substance abuse issues. And so they kind of really need to be in uh, rehab themselves. You know, they kind of fool themselves thinking that they can like dabble in everything and mm-hmm. everything's going to work out. And that's not really the case. And like they have a kid coming on the way, so it's like, you know, I was just, you know, you know, I had to go to a baby shower and all this other stuff. I'm thinking like, when you go somewhere, you go to like a baby shower, you kind of like giving your stamp of approval a little bit. And I'm thinking mm-hmm. like, you just think it all fall apart on you, like why? You know, you, it's it's a tough situation. Um, uh, well. How about this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna interrupt you. Sorry, is that you wanted to list the positive things? And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, to yeah, the yeah. negative things. Yeah. You wanna wanna 
remind you that, you know, you can't save everybody, my guy. Like, first, right. you got to put yourself first. And I know you're on, you know, these difficult situations. And I feel like a lot of people are in similar, like, situations that seem impossible to juggle. But I think that's some, a reoccurring theme that I'm getting is you got to put yourself first. Right. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. Yeah, you got to. Um. All right. All right. So let me finish off the list. All right. Good, good <laughs> yeah, thing. Go. I'm not going to deviate. Let's go. Um. Let me see. Uh, I have become, like, more focused on, like, things that are, like, positive. Like, you know, at one point, like, when I would watch something, like, for enjoyment on, like, let's say you – YouTube or something, it would have like a negative thing. Like I think we were talking about this too. Like where like ESPN or like all these things that have like negative vibes to it. Um, I kind of I cut that out. You know, mm-hmm. deleted a lot of different like um, uh, things that weren't like really serving. So that's, um, that's awesome. Yeah. So I I think you know that's a good thing and uh, my. As far as my personal health, I am like in a good state health, likewise, like and I have like better ability to do, um, you know, more things like have um, better workouts, like where everything is kind of working. And um, I even like made like a, I started like tracking my workout too. I started uh, making like a list of like, are these are going to be the exercises instead of kind of doing it sort of haphazardly kind of right. just kind of having like a general idea so now i'm like reporting sets and down like how many sets and how much weight was lifted and you know uh so i kind of made like an excel file to like record it as i'm going and uh you know even with this fasting thing i'll probably save some money i even i, I balance my own budget too you know make sure my budget was in line like make sure i don't have no like you know credit card debt oh my gosh credit card debt is the worst um, no joke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but just like even a little bit of it, it's like it's just even like any kind of balance, like carrying any kind of balance in the credit, you might as well. That's like even before somebody like invests in the stock market, like pay off your credit card or not. It, it's not even because like if something could give me a return as high as like a credit card um interest, I would take not, it. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's no like the credit best card investment debt. you can make. So I think. With the way I'm doing things now, I'm gonna save money so that's less stress and I'll have more things to um about uh, you know um yeah because I've done like looked at my own budget start saving money on things like my car insurance and uh it, for some reason it went down because my I guess my credit score had went up a little so I'm gonna save some money on that and uh you know I'm saving I had went through my old old um credit card history and there were some things on there that shouldn't have been on there so I went I had saved like what was it like two hundred and forty dollars or something of, like different things like that wasn't supposed to be on there and I, I canceled a bunch of like subscriptions to different things so I kind of opened up a, a huge chunk you know just a little chunk of money right like, that'll right. come in you know, and with this not eating thing, that's a big job. Oh my God, you know how much money I spend on food? Jeez Louise. And I spend money on food just to work out and burn that same food off. So like eating in excess at all is kind of like crazy. Oh yeah, excess for sure. Right. Um, so I think this will be good. All right, cool. Well, yeah, man. Uh, how about you make sure that you have a good December, my guy. And uh, yeah. keep, on, keep, keep the right path. Try to... Uh, Try to fall back from the work a little bit and put more into studying because, you know, like I said, you know, you're trying to move away from that. And right. um, you're going you're gonna to need time. You're going to need more time. If you want to, you know, be doing shows and gaining fans and doing these things, it's, you got to have time. So you got to figure that out. But um, I appreciate you letting me and the Sacred Inclusion Network uh, walk you through this and uh, learn. And I think, um, a lot of people can relate to what you're going through. I know I can. And uh, I think it's cool just to get a chance to hear from like someone out, uh, uh, not I want to say a normal person, because you're not a normal person, but uh, just like, you know, a human being going through the struggle of this life and trying to, to figure it out. And um, and you're clearly a good dude, 
very helping to others in your family. So keep on going, bro. Put yourself first. And um, we're going to follow up with you maybe like February and March. See how you're right. see, see what it's looking like then. All right. Yeah, yeah. It should be good. Uh, ho hopefully, you know, that by the end of the, sometime in the summer, I'll be right up in the background with you with all the green. <laughs> Let's you know go. That would be dope, bro. I'll be dope. Like, oh, man. Like, just surrounded yeah. by nature. That's gonna be that, that's gonna be a future challenge. You're gonna have to accountable accountability to come visit, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. And you saving money, bro. That's travel money, bro. Keep saving that money. Right, right. That's, yeah. That's, that's money to come here. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna continue to stay in touch. You know, we got a lot going on with the network. Um, and uh, I appreciate you, bro. So I'm gonna stop this, John. I appreciate you. Peace.